Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back to the Aga Dad Shop. My name is Taylor, and today I'm gonna to be cutting open a handful of Malawi Aga nodules. These rough nodules barely have anything going on on the outside, and if they have beautiful, hopefully beautiful, beautiful bands on the inside, let's see. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna come over and I'm gonna polish them on my brand new six inch Cab King. This thing is spanking new, hasn't even spun, and it has those premium res wheels on it. I'm really excited to test this bad boy out. But before we get to the polishing part, we need to come over to the six inch high tech diamond saw and start slicing these nodules open. Let's get started. I am so excited to see what's hiding on the inside of these. I have to say, I love me some Malawi agates. They have such beautiful bands hiding on the inside of these. Hopefully this one has some. Oh, it does. <laughs> but they're just so much fun. They come in so many different colors. It's always a blast. Oh, we got some white and red in there. Let's do it. Oh yeah, that's a keeper for sure. That's got beautiful red, white, yellow bands in there with gorgeous snowflake quartz. Looks like angel wings, doesn't it? Oh, that's a keeper. That one's getting polished for sure. All right, let's see what's in this one. Oh ho, 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 my gosh. Look at how beautiful those bands are. Oh, that is awesome. So pretty. Oh, it's awesome. It's like a cross. I love it. That makes me happy. Oh, cool, cool, cool. I wasn't sure about this guy right here. Kind of funky exterior. I don't know, we'll see. Oh, sweet. It's got banging bands and a micro little crystal pocket in there. That is so sweet. Three for three with absolute beautiful, beautiful ink. It's rough to a great start. Let's keep it going for the whole thing. <laughs> we gotta put the Cab King to the test. See you soon. Three more in the books. They all felt good. They didn't feel fast. Oh, that one's got a lot of moss in there. These ones are kind of tricky when it comes to polishing because you get to these areas and they kind of undercut and then, the, I don't know what you call it, the naturalness in it, it kind of breaks away and leaves streaks in the polish and they can be kind of stinkers. Not sure on this guy, I bet it's gonna be white bands. And fun fact, just so you guys know, I don't peek at any of these before showing you, so we get to experience it for the first time together. That's one of the, I think the reasons why this is so much fun for me, because it never gets old. Each one is individually unique like a fingerprint. I just love it. Oh, that is interesting. That is really, really neat. we will zoom in even more for that one. That's crazy. Really interesting quartz in there. It's like orange, like, golly, I don't even know. How do you explain that? It's got like quartz in there, but it's stained, and then the white bands are just absolutely gorgeous. Really, really pretty. I like that one a lot. This one I wasn't sure on though, I'll be honest. Um, a lot of quartz here on the back end, so I bet it's all quartz. Yep, purely a quartz nodule, a little bit, maybe a little bit of bands up here. I will not be polishing this one. Oh, we got our first dud. And I gotta say, cause I get asked all the time. This is what I get asked. What's my beef with quartz? What's your beef with quartz? I don't have a beef with quartz. Quartz is fine. I just like bands more. It's my opinion. <laughs> Crazy. <laughs> One, two, three, four more Malawi agates. I am so happy with how this has turned out so far. These two, look at that. Beautiful windows. No, not really any windows on that. Not really any windows on that. So we'll see. We got the two banded windows and the two nothing nodules. We will see which ones are more beautiful. We'll cut the nothing ones first because I bet these ones are 
higher probability of being amazing. Well, we didn't whip through the cuts, so I believe that these are gonna be beautiful. Oh, that is really, really nice. It's just, it's got that same as the other one that it's got a lot of naturalness in there, but good golly. Look at how pretty those bands are in there. This one, oh, that is gorgeous. Also so pretty. It's got a few fractures in there, not too bad. But it's got what looks to be like little hematite platelets in there. That's awesome, I really like those. All right, two more, we'll cut them and we'll show you. I am so excited for these. I have high, high hopes. Get a nice pure cut face on the inside. Oh yeah, beautiful white bands in there. That is so awesome. Gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. It's a keeper for sure. And our last one, well, there it is. Our last one, beautiful white bands in there. I bet it looks similar to the last one with Maybe a little bit of red, I don't know. Let's see. Oh my gosh, that is the best one. Full pattern, it's almost like a rectangle. That is so sweet. Look at those saw blade marks. We got some good testing to do with our six inch cab king, it's so awesome. This is such a beautiful Malawi agate. Oh, I love that so much. It's even like in the center there, right in the core. It's got some depth into the orange. It's gonna be fun to look at once it's polished. That's for sure. Well, now that we have our cutting done, we can get to the polishing and primarily the breaking in of our six inch cap king. Now I am not new to cap king units. I have an eight inch cap king as well. So I have both. I'm gonna be doing some testing of fun stuff in the future. You don't wanna miss that. Make sure you hit that subscribe or follow button. But anyway, we're gonna be breaking in the six inch. This bad boy is designed for smaller pieces, cabochons. Pretty much everything that I just cut is perfect for this unit. So let's see how it fares when we put it to the test, and the first thing I need to do is break in those res wheels. Golly, where did I put it? First thing I need to do is break in those wheels, and I need a very hard stone to do that. This is my break in res wheels rock. It's a Montana agate. It works perfectly. So I'm gonna break in these wheels, and then plug it in, <laughs> and we'll get to polishing. <laughs> So I have gotten through the 220 grit and the 280 grit res wheel. I only had to go back on two agates. So I guess one agate, two cut halves. And it took a second to work out the little scratches that were left. And now we are ready for the 600 grit, 1200 grit, and 3000 grit. Res wheels, I have a feeling I'm gonna whip through these because they look so great right now. I love <laughs> The res wheels, I all the time I'm always telling people you gotta check out them res wheels. They are awesome. 
Uh, if you are curious, all the equipment that is gonna be used in this video is gonna be linked in my description box below with my discount codes, Igadad at High Tech Diamond and Cap King. But I wanna get back to polishing and get some more Willie Nelson Stardust, greatest album ever made back on. And uh, yeah, we will see you at the end with some beautifully polished Malawi agates. So I have gotten all of those cut Malawi agates through the 3000 grit and they turned out so good. They look amazing. They're like, I honestly thought they were wet after I dried them off. I'm like, I guess I didn't dry it off good enough. They're that polished. They look phenomenal. I'm gonna show you in a second, but quickly, I just wanna say the six inch Cap King is awesome especially in combination with those res wheels. I love it so much. It's a smaller unit compared to the eight inch Cap King, obviously. But with that comes, it's tighter. So I did nick my knuckles a little bit more than I normally do. It's just cause it's a more compact construction, but it is a mighty unit. I'm gonna use it so much because those smaller pieces that I just polished work perfectly on there. And I polish a lot of little ones like that. So anyways, I love the Cab King, check it out. It's a great unit, great unit to start on. I wanna check out these polished pieces with you though. So let me turn this around and we'll see how amazing these turned out. Here's our first one. That is awesome. Look at the light play on there. It's so beautiful. Such gorgeous bands in that one. Oh, they all have really great bands to be honest. So we'll see how many times I say that. <laughs> <laughs> Look at those great bands. Oh my gosh, the light plays. Woo, that's just through 3000 grit. I have tried to go on and on and on into 8000 and 14000 and stuff like that in the past. And I just, I don't know, maybe I'm doing it wrong, but I really love how it looks at 3000 grit. These look so pretty. It turned out awesome. Look at that. Gorgeous, beautiful Malawi agates are some of my favorites. They're, like I said at the beginning, a lot of different variants of color. And yeah, these are perfect examples of that. A lot of oranges, but then you get ones like this that have kind of like a lavender, hematite, platelet thing going on with it. Anyway, it's pretty sweet. And this is our last one of all those. I really like this one. Took a really great polish. Really, really great polish. Oh, that was fun. So we cut open a bunch of Malawi agate nodules that were kind of ugly on the outside and they turned out to be, thankfully, so beautiful on the inside. Got to break in my brand new six inch Cap King and the polish turned out phenomenal. I wasn't worried about it, but the new unit, it was, like I said, a little bit of a more compact unit than I'm used to, and it wasn't that big of a deal. I just gotta be a little bit more careful and maybe not rush so much, because when I was starting to feel like I'm rushing a little bit, that's when I was hitting my knuckles on the other wheels. And res wheels have teeth and they bite. <laughs> so anyway, I hope you all enjoyed this really fun lapidary adventure. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much for watching. We will see you next time, bye.